Okay. Okay. Um, for people wondering what this red thing is, it, I prop my phone up in, um, I have like a thing. Here, I'll show you. I have this thing for all my little figures that I've kept from my childhood. And, oh, now it doesn't show up. Um, but it's one of the bottoms of, um, one of the levels. But now it's not there. So, this video, I'm going to be talking about quarantine woes. Having to deal with being in quarantine for so long. And how I knew I was transgender. I wrote it down. So I wouldn't forget anything. Um, first quarantine woes. Having to be indoors. Can't go. Like I usually. Before I would go out. On the city bus. With, it would be me and my service dog Charlie. And we'd go to like. Arc, which is a thrift store here in Colorado, um, Walmart, um, the malls, you know, you know, a bunch of places and can't do that now. So because, because of this whole stupid COVID-19, um, so it's kind of frustrating. I have been getting out sometimes, like at least... I got out a couple times this week to go take um, my dog Charlie for a walk, and that that seemed to help um, quite a bit to um, at least get out of the house for for a while. Um, wearing a mask, and there are people out there not wearing masks. And it's like, oh my god. It's like, oh my god, do you want to get coronavirus? Do you want to possibly die? But I wear a mask because I don't want to get it and I don't want to die. So, um, I'm not scared of it. It's just, I'd rather not be super, super sick and possibly not survive it than living so I'd rather live than and be healthy than the alternative anyways how I knew I was transgender now my story is a little bit um if you watch these trans stories of how they came about mine's pretty typical um but I'll just go into that. Around the age of four or five, four or five, is my first memory of asking my mom, when I get big and I'm a boy, can I cross the street by myself? My mom said, when you get big, you can cross the street by yourself, but you won't be a boy. Yeah, she was wrong. I knew I was a boy on the inside. I just thought my penis didn't grow yet. When puberty hit, it was the worst time of my life. I grew boobs. I got my period. Trigger warning. It was awful. I always knew I was a boy. I didn't know I could change genders. It wasn't until I was in my early to mid-20s that I found out the meaning of the word transgender. Finally, I knew what I was feeling had a name. I then started looking into getting top surgery and getting started with my transition. Today, I'm not on hormones yet, but hopefully will be soon. That was kind of quick. <laughs> but yeah, I asked my mom that question and when she said, you won't be a boy, she was very mistaken, but at the time it was the 80s and there was like nothing about 
being trans like there is today. There was nothing. Um, and when I was in elementary school, I was, I had a session with a psychologist and, um, he said that was the first time he said that I had gender identity problems. He didn't say the disorder. He said problems. And he wanted my mom to force me to wear a dress to school once a month. The principal was there. My, my teachers were there. My special ed teachers were there. And my mom, both my mom, well, my mom was there. My dad was at work. He was in the military. So my mom was there and my mom's just like, no, I'm, I'm not going to fight that fight, which I know I'm going to lose, you know? And everybody else was like, are you nuts? This is not the kid we know that at the time I was she, she would be miserable in a dress. And... Um, and he's like, well, if she was my daughter, I'd make her wear a dress. Blah, 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 blah. And my mom's like, well, she's not your daughter. She's mine. And I want her to feel comfortable. So if she wants to wear jeans and a t-shirt to school, wear jeans and a t-shirt to school. It's not a big deal. My mom was awesome. My mom's awesome. Because she always let us live our lives the way we wanted. And it wasn't like a specific, like, no, you're a girl, you have to wear dresses. No, you're a boy, you can't wear dresses. You have to wear pants and a t-shirt and a suit on special occasions. And, you know, it, we weren't put into those gender roles, those strict gender roles. We were, um, my sister... She was a girly girl, and she wanted me to be a girly girl, too. But I never got into, you know, playing with Barbies and um, stuff like that. I mostly got into little figures and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and a bunch of other things. So, um... So that's basically my how I knew I was trans and every month when I got my trigger warning period some people call it shark week but I use the biological terms um, that um, That before my period would start, I would think, okay, yeah, I'm living like a guy, you know, and then it would hit. And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm really a female. And that was so devastating. So, anyways, that's, um, that's this video and if you want to um, know more about me leave a comment hit that subscribe button leave a like hit the notification bell um, I'm also on Instagram now so it's at Will Driscoll W-I-L-L-D-R-I-S-C-O-L-L -L -L, um, at uh on Instagram. So follow me there. Bye.